I grew up racing slalom, and slalom was kind of like my thing, and I actually made the U.S. ski team because of my slalom. I was a world junior slalom champion, and then I ended up breaking my leg skateboarding, and it just kind of hurt to ski slalom, so I took up downhill, and I was like, man, this is fun. Downhill, no matter what, whenever you get to the bottom, you got a smile on your face. You just scared yourself to death. And it's the fastest event. It's the biggest air, a lot of the steepest slopes, and your life is on the line whenever you're racing. With the speeds that we go at and the obstacles that we're dealing with, the jumps, the terrain parks, the trees, you gotta wear a helmet. You knock your head, it can change you for the rest of your life. You have to be fully confident in yourself and know where you're going, what you're doing, or else it could mean life or death. It could mean uh, you're in the hospital for the next month or so. It sucks a lot to see a lot of your friends go down. Everybody on the tour is good friends. There's a lot of different ways to go fast. Like, there's a lot of different ways to ski fast, and every, every athlete on the team has a different style and technique. If you look at a guy like Marco Sullivan, and he's, he's been around for a long time, and he's had some really good success in his career, and he has that touch on the snow that's really hard to find, and he just gets these crazy angles, and like, it seems like he's gonna hip out every turn, but he's just laying it over that hard. Looking ahead to next season, there's a couple things that I'm looking for, and one is to have more consistency than I did this year. I had a couple races where I was super fast and a couple races where I was super slow, and I kind of want to still have those super fast races, but meet it in the middle a little bit and bring some consistency to each race and start competing on a daily basis with the best girls in the world. We've been working with Mike Rogan, a, the USA's team captain for PSIA, and we've really taken a step back and brought it back to the basics, skiing one ski and working into the top of the turn. And that's one of my big goals this season is to perfect the top of the turn so you're in a perfect position when you start it and you have the ankle rolled up and you're over that outside ski and driving your inside arm. Kind of taking it back to the basics and getting in the routine every morning before I go out and train and see see how much I can improve my skiing. Something that our team proved last year is that you can do well as a team and that can override the success of any one individual. We got back to the United States after our, the World Cup ended it over in Europe and everyone that we talked to was like, your team did so well, your team, you're this, your team that, and everything was about a team and never about how one individual did it. And that's kind of a cool feeling when you can help each other and you can push each other along to where you, everyone's able to perform to their best ability and you can bring the best out of everyone. Yeah.